today I'm playing Isabel. Perhaps it's Isabel? I'm not sure. Uh, it's a game I got when it was on sale. Uh, it's one of your, you know, RPG top-down, top-down view, point-and-click type games. Uh, I played it a bit the other week. Here's some plot. I've woken up. I'm surrounded by dead bodies. I've not got my stuff. I don't remember what happened. It could be anything. Uh, ADSW do skills. And ZXC do bottom bars. Not important at this point. Let's loot the bodies. Yes. I'm getting rich. It's good to know that surrounded by dead bodies, my first concern is the money. Ooh, patient. Here's another body. Oh, gloves. Any more bodies around here? So basically, you point, you put the point somewhere, you click the button, she goes that way. You right click to do your magical action and you left click to do your fighting action. I get my hit point orb. Parchment, good. I've no idea if any of these things do me any good. Yeah, which is good, because clearly this is a tutorial. Where is it? I'm getting skilled. I've leveled up. Small potion, does that sound? There we go, right. So I've leveled up. So what shall I improve? Let's improve that. Can I improve anything else? That'll do. Uh, sorry. In here there's a chest. Let's examine that. Uh, convenient. There's a gate key. I think there's anything else there. Right. So I've got a gate key. Which means I should be able to get out of the gate. And get to see the shaman, which is sort of the point of the whole thing. All right, so I'll unlock the gate. And now I just want to get through it. And I got stuck here before several times. Yes, the game, the game in general does seem to be quite buggy. Um, right, I've set the resolution to a 1280 by 720 here and in window, which may not be improving the responsiveness of the clicking. I don't know. I'm clicking all over the place, I still can't get through the gate. Walk through the gate, woman! Go from further away. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do at this point. Yes, and every time you exit the game and go back in again, it decides to go to full screen. Even though when you go and look in the settings, I can get out from here. Go on. There we go. Yeah, enemy types. Come back. So I have some stamina potion, what am I doing? So these potions can restore, the red potion restore your red, which is your strength, and the blue restores your mana. I'm not sure what the purple ones do. Uh, there's lots of bad guys. I'm getting rich. I don't get rich, yeah, I'm on low HP. Right. 
Did I do everything? I think they're all dead. That was. Right, let's have a look in this wooden chest. And which? Yeah, so I mean it's quite it's, it's a reasonable looking game. I did I did play it quite a bit before. I got I got completed the first quest. Uh, so I was playing as the warrior rather than the witch. save point and you know as a game it seemed it seems alright it's just uh, the controls are a bit annoying and inconsistent this is the portal by which you access the rest of the game after you've you've got through the first um, you've met the shaman which was the initial quest I'm getting skilled Got more skills, which we go for. Improve our defence this time. Defence. Let's get a bit more strength. Okay. Uh, so if you get the mini map up, that will show me where all the enemies are. The green dot is where I'm supposed to be heading, if I recall correctly. I need to find Shaman. I know you need to find the shaman. I need to find oh. shaman. All right, so I'm a, I am the green dot. That would explain it. I'm the green dot, and I need to get to this gate. That makes sense. Yes, let's enter the grave. Okay. I have seen this place in my vision. Shaman's heart must be near. Okay, the shaman's heart must be near. Also, lots of bad guys. Uh, so I think this character... Really, what I want to do is run away. Quite a lot. the inventory and there's not a lot of explanation I find it quite annoying that you've got the symbols but there's no there's no sort of tool tips so you just have to remember what everything is You complete quests. You kill.
kill things. I'm getting uh, I've reached level four. I need to pick up a hit point up and all that. It's your typical um your typical um RPG style thing. I can't do anything else. There we go. You know, it seems it seems moderately entertaining. The bugs, the thing that's really spoil it, I think, and and just the control system just doesn't seem to work right. I don't know why. Maybe I'm just maybe I'm just not doing it right. Someone can comment on how bad I am. Uh, so the character just. Oh, here we go, it's a hut. So there you go, I think this is basically completing the first quest. So this is probably a good point to uh, wrap up the video as we uh, hit some character interaction and I admit to be running around in my underwear uh, having awoken in a field of dead bodies and he gets a bit suspicious about that. So I'll leave it there. Um, I got this game for a fairly ridiculously cheap price for about a quid. Uh, so I'm, don't, I'm not feeling particularly ripped off or anything. I don't think it will see a lot of uh, playing time in the immediate future. It's uh, kind of as bad frustrating as it is enjoyable, I think. And there are other games I'd rather be spending my time on. But um, if you're into this sort of game, maybe check it out the next time it's on sale.